Welcome back, everyone, to another video podcast of PNT Live right here on the PNT Live Network. I'm your host, Alex Mayers. Now, it appears that the one and only Lisa Ann is back in the mainstream media. And, you know, it's so funny. Over on the um, blog that was recently acquired by the individuals behind The Luxury Companion, a blog which was once run by Michael Struther, known as Mike South, they were just questioning in a, a rather defamatory way, actually, why Lisa Ann is back in the news. Well, I'll tell you why she's back in the news. And if you want to pop on over to meaw, M-E-A-W-W dot com, you can learn why as well. Because Lisa Ann has decided to come out in regards to the reason that she had to retire from today's adult entertainment industry. And would you like to know what that reason is? The same element that both myself and my friend Melissa Hill have been screaming from the rooftops about. The fact that today's adult entertainment industry is no longer only creating adult content that's labeled under the guise of pornography. It's also creating adult content that should be labeled as abuseography. So when you have companies like Mind Geek coming in and buying everything and, and convincing the United States that everyone wants to see abusive pro uh, content. That to me is no longer pornography. That is considered abuseography. So myself and a couple of other people, Ale Alexander Myers, for instance, uh, we have started using the new term abuseography. Okay? There's legal pornography. And there's abuseography. Two are not the same. All right. Abuseography is not legal. That you're now you're 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 on the uh, you're, you're walking the line of obscenity. The headline of this particular article says. Iconic porn star Lisa Ann says demand for extreme and aggressive sex videos made her leave industry. And I'm just going to read a bit of this article to you. It's by somebody named Ashani Ghost. And it was posted January 7th, 2020. Ex-porn star Lisa Ann believes that she left the adult film industry when it became too aggressive and extreme. Lisa Ann is best known for her role as former vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin in the porn parody titled, Who's Nalen Palin? Ann had revealed that the scene had changed from when she had started in the 1990s, and that is exactly what Melissa Hill has been saying for several months now. And you can check out what she has to say about it over on the PNT Live Network on pntlive.net. As reported by Lad Bible, she shared, being a porn star in the 90s was very different than it is now. The girls were so valued. There weren't a lot who wanted to do this for a living, so filmmakers wanted to treat the ones who did so well. It was like being on a regular movie set. They would call you the day before to ask what you wanted to eat, and they made sure you only worked with guys you wanted to work with. She continued. Anne had got back into porn after working as a stripper in Los Angeles. She starred in pornos such as Big and Black, Diary of a MILF 4, and Lesbian Hospital 2, and revealed that the women were treated like queens. She also shared that at the time, porn stars had a lot more control over the content and who they performed with. The brunette had shared she loved the world until things started to change drastically in 2000. More women were up to star in pornos, and the action started to get extreme. Anne shared that she refused to be choked, smacked, or spat on. She also added that she was ready to call it quits when in 2008, producers decided on a Sarah Palin porno. Anne skyrocketed to fame post the performance and became a MILF star, which she enjoyed. 
She's currently a sports personality and shared that she will always treasure the time she spent in the porn world. I've outgrown it. I've loved it for everything it's done for me and I'm still so happy to be invited to events and still be Lisa Ann, but at the same time, it's grown to be something different, she shared. Yes, it has grown from pornography into abuseography. That's the reality of today's adult entertainment industry. Remember, you can always learn more about the truth of the adult entertainment industry on pornnewstoday.com or pntlive.net. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I'm Alex Mayers. Bye-bye.